Hello, welcome back to part two of this three-part series on how to use the Collaboration Health Assessment Tool. For this session we'll look at how to complete the survey when you've been invited um, by a Collaboration Lead or Representative. So, you will have received an email that looks exactly like this, and this is the invitation that we sent out in the last session. All you have to do is click register here, noting this team code which is the unique identifier for your collaboration. And this will get auto-populated into the registration page, like so. So you can see that we are registration registering as a collaboration member because we've been invited to take part by the lead or the representative. So we'll just put in our name. Um, because this email was sent to the help desk, I'll just put us down as chat help desk. And then we can register. Enter our details again. And there we go. So these are the groups that you remember were um, identified by the collaboration lead. So all we have to do as the um, person that's been invited to take part is just to note down which group we belong to. I'm just going to put down infrastructure. And then we can start the survey. So there's 28 questions that we use to measure the health of a collaboration and they all use the same like it type scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Uh, users are also um, able to put not sure if they're unsure, unsure of any of the items. So we can just select them like that. I'll leave the page that one blank. If this does happen that you're prompted to either leave it blank, in which case you click OK, or you can um, put in a response. So I'll just put strongly agree there. So 28 questions at all. I won't go through all of these, um, but I will see you on the other side. Welcome back. I'm just finishing off the last of the chat questionnaire. I click next. The last part is a few background questions. This is so we can learn more about the collaboration, where you're working, and of course to look at those goals as well. So the first question we ask in the background section is the purpose of your collaboration. And it may or may not be to uh, address a complex social issue. Either way, we do ask just for a little bit of information about what the social is that your issue is that your collaboration is trying to achieve. And it might be about increasing educational participation. Okay, now you remember that the collaboration lead gave us uh, four goals. Now your role now is to decide how important you think each of those goals is for the collaboration. Now of course this won't say goal one to four, it'll be something like improved educational participation or increased uh, communication between um, service providers for instance. But let's just say I see this goal is critical, this one is important but less important, also critical, but I see goal four as uh, somewhat less important than the others. You also had the opportunity to um, put in other goals that you think may have been missed from this list here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in as a demonstration. Just like that. We also other, ask you some other background questions, for instance, when you, you thought the collaboration was established, which country you're working in, how many organisations you think are involved in the collaboration, and also how long you've been working in the collaboration for. We also ask for some other questions about whether you have a memorandum of understanding or some other formalised agreement, whether you receive funding or not, and also which sectors are involved in the collaboration and which sector you sit in as well. Um, we'd also ask just for some information about the role of your collaboration, and that might be, for example, well, from this example, um, as an infrastructure person, my role might be to make sure that communication between collaborators is um, up to scratch. Then we have a couple of other questions just to see really if the collaboration health assessment tool has prompted um, a change in the way that you're thinking about your collaboration. After we have finished that we click next and you give the option to of course submit the survey. You just click here. 
Okay, on this page, uh, there's a lot of information here, but what it's about is the research that the University of New South Wales and Collaboration for Impact would like to do. And basically, we want to be able to follow um, your progress, your collaboration's progress over time. Um, and to do that, we need your permission to use your responses in our research. So you can read through this participant information statement, tells you who the investigators are, and also some information about the study as well. If you do agree to um, participate in the study, there's nothing else you need to do. It just basically, um, you're saying that you would like to opt into our research so that we can use your responses. So you just click there. And that's it. So you've completed the survey. We think it should take about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 at the most. When the collaboration lead releases the results, this is where you can click to view the results. If we click that now, it gives you some information about um, the, the data that you will receive in the future. Right at the moment we can't see any results because um, more than five people haven't taken part but in the next section I'll use dummy data um, to show you what the results would look like. Okay thank you, see you soon.